Hello everyone, Speed Demon here, and welcome back to part 8 of our Let's Learn Civilization 6 United States run. So, today's episode, we're going to go ahead and make our beginnings of our war against Australia here. Go ahead, set up Cast's Belly. Start setting up our attack. This unit's going to get hit a good bit, but I'm going to bring him up on water here. I'm actually going to go ahead and protect them as well, so that way it hits the galley instead. Melbourne, let's go ahead and gain sources. Actually, you could just go ahead and start off with that. Yeah, if only it did let us uh, build something there. I mean, it's not going to be able to have much practical effect at the moment. Baltimore, the library got done, so that's good. Uh, it's going to take a long time for that to get going. Our science is doing okay. We are going to eventually, in the next era, we're going to probably want to go ahead and... I would say it would be smart for us to pick up the... Um, let's see here. What was it? Probably pick up the university. And then we'll also want to pick up like at least a couple more universities before the next era and then for sure get Taj Mahal next era as well that would be very good for us Let's get that that'll help us just helps those cities grow a lot faster and that's what we're going to need amenities won't continue to be a problem forever that's going to be something that we will solve soon we'll actually be in a much better position by the time all of that is sorted out Let's bring you here, and then we'll just go ahead and uh, pick that up. A little extra food growth doesn't hurt in the city. If he does decide to forward settle in an area like here, eventually I'll just let the alliance run out, and then the loyalty pressure will just have that city succumb, so... Go ahead and break you off. Have you go here. And just have you hold position. It would be unwise to get this unit killed. It's 140 gold. And then eventually getting access to another amenity will help us too. Again, the amenities will be really crucial for us. So the more we develop those, the better. Let's go ahead and get... Like okay, I so this will be the one that's going to help us a lot. A zoo. Uh, bonus amenity extends to each city center tile. Um, or city center within six tiles. This bonus applies once to a city, and then also plus one science to each rainforest and marsh tile. We got a couple marsh tiles here, so that'll give us a little bit of science income as well. That never hurts, so we'll get that going. We'll get that here. And then once we have an arena, we will get Colosseum going, and Colosseum will help boost us a lot. Gives a little bit of culture, but the amenity bonuses will help us significantly. We'll just go ahead and ship you down. I don't have very much more I could do in this city's case. So for now, I'll go ahead and just have them stay here. And then eventually, I can once I see that expand out to that tile, um, we'll just get to that direction. But it's not really a concern right now. Yeah, this city will definitely get taken pretty quickly, so... I'd rather keep the health in that tile, or in that unit for now. Um, no. I'm not trying to make wars with anyone other than what I already am. No. Like, those units are just getting themselves destroyed by trying to attack me like that, so I'm definitely going to do that. Destroying rainforest for Excellent. So let's go ahead and take that card off. Pick up Limitane. It's going to get us a nice net. A um, little bit of gold here. Yeah, 25 more. It's nice. I didn't lose that unit. I'd been in a better position. Yeah, 
if I could get that unit there in time, that'd been great, but not the not the end of the world. We do have seven envoys, so we could also like boost our gold income by just dumping envoys. So that's always something we could do. We'll pick up a few more there. Uh, I don't really have any faith income, so I'm not worried about that. We'll pick that up, and we'll get that. Bring up our gold a little more. Now we actually have a bit of a gold income we can work off of. Now that's actually like better. I can actually like buy stuff within so many turns versus like having to wait, you know, a significant amount of time. Since we do have access to sanctuaries, that is our cue to get started now on as many as possible. So we're going to first go here. We're going to complete Oxford first because that's just it's an obvious priority in this case. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go Oxford into Sanctuary. Washington is one turn out from another settler. Perfect. Um, we are going to go that into Sanctuary. That'll help. Immediately going to get started on the Sanctuary. How much gold is that? It's a lot. It's 45 turns, so there's nothing I could do to make this go faster. We'll go that into Sanctuary. And then we'll want to pick up both. So we'll save up gold on that. We'll go back here. Take a look at what our development plan is going to be here. And then liberalism would help us to get a little bit of amenities that would actually that would definitely make a difference there. Could go down that route. Go down here. If we want to go democracy, we'll just go ahead and be aligned towards that. Since we now have conservation, we could also eventually save up for um, a naturalist to get a national park going. That'll help. Oh, it did get taken, so I didn't realize he was going to leave it there for that long. We're going to actually bring him back. Also could be very, very beneficial to um, get this guy upgraded to a caravel. I'm just going to have him kind of just, just kind of hang tight now. We can plant woods too. That's also a good thing. Is uh, if we are able to get another like solid heroic age for next era, we got thirty turns. We need to get twenty four or more era score. So that could be very very good for us. We hundred percent have to get Oxford though. You can try to I, see. I don't know where he's going to forward settle. I, I honestly, I, I'm kind of baffled by what Australia is doing here. It's a very weird uh, position. Times have... Okay, as expected, the AI are going to be kind of stupid about it. Even, like, even friendly people are going to be... Weird about it. And of course, you know, negative loads. So they really don't like me. And it's really, like, it's frustrating when you're in a situation like that, because I'm going to lose a lot of loyalty when I take this city. You know what? Let's bring it down instead. We'll take that city. Should be able to get him close to a level up as well. We have taken a new city. Into yeah. Actually, that loyalty pro that loyalty loss isn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. So who's gonna be a low value one? Uh, where Amani? Where are you actually planted? Johannesburg. Actually, I can go ahead and just ship her out of there and just take her over to, uh, take her to, uh, Launceston. 
that'll provide positive loyalty and also I can uh, hold the city. Good, so that's one city. And I don't intend on this being a very long war. Once I have these two cities, I'm kind of happy with what I have here because I've got enough pressure here to kind of maintain what I'm looking for. You know, so we're, we're okay there. Uh, since we did take that city, let's go ahead and... There's not that much, actually, that's going to be really good for us. I mean, Granary would be nice, but... I'll buy a Granary, and then we'll just get a monument going here. And then, still not sure what he's doing there. And that dude got straight up yoinked. You know, could probably save up gold. We'll do this. Buy another galley. And if that stays in range, then we're just going to go ahead and yoink that. We'll get him over here so that way you can protect the trader as well. So if this guy goes down, we'll just be able to, to hold that position better. Just gonna keep on exploring. Since we have that unit, we'll go ahead and probably settle him here, I would like. I think that's probably the best position that I feel is really good. And then let's see, where where are you gonna move? Of all things, you build Oxford. Dude, that's so annoying. Okay, so... Uh, okay, I would have actually needed Oxford, but that's that kind of pisses me off that he stole that. I could have, yes, I could have made more of an effort to try to dedicate towards it earlier in the game, but there are way too many points of expansion for us that we needed. Like, if I were to pick between a wonder at the time... Or go for, you know, the other expansion. At the time, I felt that it was better to go for that. That's why I made that decision. Are you going to stay nearby? Okay, yes you are. Oh, you're so evil. You're going right there. Hold up. If I, if I put it there, it's not going to be able to move. So if it goes out that way, I'm also going to... Oh, he's going to pillage that. That's so annoying too, dude. Alright. Fortify you. And then we're going to go ahead and take a mana just for the extra movement. I'm going to go ahead and land them next turn there. I'm going to start bringing them back just so I can keep an eye on what they're doing over there. Because if he tries to settle, he could have, like potentially even consider settling there, which would be a super weird and kind of crappy place for him to settle, but it is possible. Man. Him taking Oxford, though, that's annoying. And he's not even that competitive with science either. He just took it just to take it. So that sucks, because that actually would have helped us a lot. Um, Like, right there, that city is getting... Oh, and the preserve got done, too, because of the completion of it. So that's giving me some... Uh, if I go fresh, oh wow! <laughs> now that's a nice tile. <laughs> Look at the yields there. Now that is very pretty. So that tile and that tile are just gonna get better too with time. As in four turns, I'll unlock Eiffel Tower. And that's going to be super great for us. Maybe after this one gets taken, I can get something better, maybe. Interesting. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, 
I can get that settler, dude, that's going to put us in such a better position. Because then I can settle another city around here, and then I'll put us in a really good position. Yeah, probably another city, like, right around here. Whatever is of course, it to... pillages the tile. Oh, you got the trade route instead. Oh, even better. You're so lovely. I'm actually just going to go ahead and... I'm just going to go ahead and make a specific effort to kill you now. It's frustrating you got the trade route. Let's land you. Let's do some damage. And we're just going to keep you fortified. Water park done. Yeah, so that would that one would be really nice for us. That would give us a good bit more science per turn. I would say I'd take the plus three over the plus two. And you fortify. Urban planning got taken away, so that's fine. Get an amenity, that'll help. I would say that's probably going to be our best bet. That's definitely going to make a big difference here. Put us in a lot more of a positive amenity situation. I'm just taking that. You've done so much damage in mine as well. I'm just going to take that so I can confirm that I have it. And now I back off. I got what I wanted out of this situation. It's the fastest way for me to pick up that city as well. That way I can combat his loyalty pressure and I also get a free city out of it with a free campus. So yeah, it's not going to have any major bonuses or anything on it because uh, he gets access, you know, with the uh, uh, bright taking appeal. It's going to bring him three science per turn. That's why that plus three there was present in that moment. I'm going to go ahead and head back a little bit. I want to see where in the world is he trying to settle with that man at arms. Kill him off. Land you in here. That way we could just ensure minimum damage. Get you get you out of here ASAP. And I'm just going to keep this dude here. I'm, I'm just going to have him hang out for a while until you decide to get away. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could do this instead. Yeah, I could do that because then that's going to actually like boost other tiles as well. Because eventually I can just go ahead and if I have eventually the means to do it, I'll mass spam builders. I put on the builder card so I can get five build charges and then I'll just mass spam builders out of Boston. So it, actually it'll be six. And then what I'll do is just anywhere where I see gaps that I can gain a lot of value from having like woods, I'll put woods down. Yeah, I'll put a woods down here, put a woods down there. That way they gain additional culture and I can boost my culture up too. So that actually might be a really smart idea here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm strongly considering that. I like that idea a lot. Ah, so I'm gonna probably have that unit get taken. That's fine. But I've got some good practical use out of seeing what's around here, so that's fine. Plus, I know where that city is at, so if I decide to, I can go for that city as well. Three turns until peace, so... Just gotta survive for a few more turns, and then we'll be A-OK. -okay. 
New Orleans has ancient walls. Good. So just in case he makes a push towards me, I can defend myself a little better. So I'm happy with that. Harbor would help. We'll pick that up just so we have better gold income. Again, at this stage of the game, gold income is really our biggest, uh, biggest limiting factor. And the more he tries to attack with those units, the less effective it's going to be. Like, that unit just took a good chunk of its own health just hitting it. Yeah, it hit the city a little bit, but it's not going to happen. He's not taking that city. He's going to settle in a place that honestly makes no sense. Like, he's farther away. And he's probably going to lose loyalty, pretty sure. But we have access to steel now. So immediately, our first priority, 1,000%, um, is the city that has the highest production, which might be Philadelphia. Yeah, it might be Philadelphia. I'm going to put it here. You're just going to dedicate focus on it 100%. No matter what you do, you are doing this. It's just too damn valuable. I may even get some builders out and go ahead and put some woods down in these areas too. Let's do that. We've got a promotion bill. Ooh. You know, that actually could be uh, could be an idea for us if that's ooh. I kind of like that one, but time to complete missions is better because I'd rather have that. Like this is a perfect setup. Well, not perfect, perfect, but like this is as close to a perfect setup as I can for like the late game for science. And survived. I'm very happy about that. I'm. Ooh, boy, I'm actually kind of really glad that's the case. Uh, let's see here. Pick up a great artist. A famous artist. Okay. And that's excellent. Um, applies 100 free great people points towards recruiting all current and great... F Ooh. That's super good, actually. That's a permanent boost to everything that I'm getting. Oh, that's so nice. 100%. Yep, 100%. That that actually helps me a lot. Dude, I, I'm so... I, I'm so thrilled with that. I, I'm super thrilled with that. Now that we have access to that, I'm very much going to be gunning towards that Eiffel Tower wonder. So... Anything we could do to increase our production towards wonders is going to be critical for us. It's going to cost too much gold for us, though, to, to switch it out. But we do have walls now, which is good. Do a little bit of damage here. Now that we have walls, this city for sure is safe. That's perfect. Like, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. We have access to steel, and that gave us pretty much just defensive fortification on all of our cities. We are good to go. We are in a great position now. I feel really good with this. You know, this, this late game is going to really start to take off now. In the situation that I can get the Eiffel Tower, it's absolutely, it's, it's go time. You know, it's 100% it's go time. Um, let's take a look for just a moment. That's in Boston. So let's head to Boston and then go ahead and get those great works in. Great works works will help. And then as we get more of those works, we can see who else is making them. Uh, the only other person that would likely have great works. It's a lot of gold per turn, but that would help culture. But again, not a problem. Bada bing, bada boom. Knowledge of chemist even better even better that is literally even better because chemistry research labs next thing i'm gonna do research labs 100 percent going for research labs 
because then we can focus on rocketry we can get a few spaceports going and then we can really start working towards that science victory this is excellent uh this this is really good i'm actually really really happy with this run and we're gonna go ahead and bring you to land get you guys to safety here because i really don't want you dying have you protect you rest and repair just gonna keep an eye on this area i would say i think we won this little mini war here i think we we made the push that we wanted you know i ideally ideally you know you could have taken that city but i could see the troops that were set up in that city just it wouldn't it wouldn't work out and he's already got walls being worked on so it wasn't going to provide us much of a benefit so there's no point in over pushing there plus by putting a money here if i put another one into money and get the emissary ability which is right here uh other cities within nine tiles not owned by us will lose two loyalty so if this city is just just at the loyalty level it needs to survive then what's going to happen is then that could take it into the negative and that would transfer the city over plus him setting up that city there significant blizzard that's a problem so that's going to potentially do some serious damage to our our setup here we are going to go ahead and once we have our population here, we're going to go ahead and get this going here. And goodbye. Oh, it's still alive. Barely. <laughs> Barely alive. I feel really good with this setup, though. We're in a much better position. We have a lot of stuff done that we needed to take care of. Just going to keep an eye on this little spot here. Just so I know where he's at. Let's keep on boosting our culture output little by little. Not worried about the tourism. That's not a concern. Because tourism is a nice setup. But if I really wanted to go for a proper tourism game. That would have been something I needed to focus on way earlier in the game. By getting more wonders. And then also kind of setting myself a little bit more for a specific culture, like really focusing on theater squares more than campuses. So the setup there is okay. Um, in this case here, I'm going to bring, bring this guy over here. It's going to give us a nice little bit of production and food. That'll help that kind of grow faster. It's 2-1. That will get better. And then let's go ahead and think on a preserve location that's going to be like good for us. We'll just get another one here. We'll bring this guy here. This guy will use make a few uses. We'll actually go ahead and plant woods here, so that way we can get some you know adjacencies uh, applied for culture output there, and that'll help us. Because eventually once those tiles eventually become breathtaking tiles, then they're just going to have significantly high value anyways. So we might as well play off of that. That'll help us kind of grow a little bit more than we would have normally. I'd actually like... I'd like us to go ahead and get that going. Um, let's see here. A granary would be good. Monument would be good. Preserve right there there would be better because then I'll make a preserve with this city make a preserve there with that city unless oh you know what? nah didn't have to spend this guy over here but I, I got a much better better much 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 better idea I'm gonna bring him actually over there instead and then have a preserve go right here now that would be much better we could do a lot more with that so okay that's better let's go ahead and see where this next turn takes us i want to finish this episode with us uh making peace here 
and then the amenities will start to get in control as we set up more of the stuff that we want. So he is losing loyalty pressure. This is excellent. This is absolutely like what we were looking for. This right Got another great person. Perfect. We'll go ahead and go our friendship with you. Um, there we go. Because we're, we're just coming out positive there. And that's going to provide us with a, just a significant better, significantly better situation for us to work off of. Um, there's not very much else to do. I'll probably get a little bit more faith. Plus it'll help our, uh, our gold income a little bit. We're just going to keep an eye on this area just to see what happens. Because of course, the most likely thing is because it's losing loyalty at that amount, it's losing loyalty, uh, if it's going to be 9 turns, that's probably losing 11, uh, I would say like 11 or 12 loyalty per turn. And then if that's the case, what's going to happen is that uh, a governor will help it by like 8 or eight to 10, I think. And it should still be negative. So we should be okay. And plus having another city here could potentially apply even more pressure in the long term. Very odd decision to set up a city here. This, I don't understand the AI's thought process there. Sometimes the AI can make very um, backwards decision making in that case. And that seems to have been what happened here. Can we make beasts? Yes, we can. Get some gold out of it. Let's actually... Uh, We'll do this, and then we'll do that. And now we're really coming out on top here. Much better position here. I'm actually like really, really thrilled. And we were able to pull off everything that we wanted here. Let's go ahead and just, I'm going to keep you on land here. I'm actually just going to keep this whole trade route going through land. We are able to nab a settler we're going to take another city potentially soon here we're in a really really strong position here for the late game you know we have the most science and culture combined out of everybody by a nice margin the only person that's close by is you but we're still better off you know we've got a good gold income uh decent faith income you know 50 per turn is not bad i mean it's 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 okay uh it could be better honestly it could be better and uh, all cities with a national park gain one appeal. So basically what we could do is we could play into that. A city that needs appeal badly, you know, like maybe has a lot of charming tiles, but not uh, that, you know, charming tiles with uh, three appeal instead of four for breathtaking. Pop a uh, national park in there and boom, now you've got potentially a nice little breathtaking setup here. So like, for example, uh, some of this stuff here that would be, you know, a zero. That can turn into a one and then that'll turn into two and then that'll be four with that wonder um let's see go ahead use the last use of you that's a here as soon as you trust excellent i am super super happy with this situation we did everything we need to do we're coming out of this way more on top. And I have to say this this is looking like it could be a very, very strong end game for us. We've got another 20 turns until the next era. We've got 16 more air score to get. So it's gonna be a big ask for us, but we can get there. And then access to nationalism. Good. We'll do some damage to this guy here. Just have him set an attack here. Did get another governor's title. So we can put on Emissary. I actually do want to do that. Because that is also going to apply. Uh, let's just check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. That's in range. So that's actually going to produce even more negative uh, pressure. Excellent. That that that's actually that's actually excellent. 
going to hold on to this guy here. We're going to go ahead and put you down here. And then Curiouser will just have full position. I just want to go ahead and have them just hang out here for a little while. Because we're going to have a few uses here from all these uh, oceanic tiles. So it'll be a strong city for the us to set up. Good. We have... Look at the balance here. I mean, basically, perfectly even science and culture. We've got good overall stats, you know, for the stage of the game is not bad. We're competitive. You know, that's not going to give us very much science, so not a problem. I would say, let's see here. Most of all this is really all in the same continent, so it's that that wouldn't provide us very much. You know, that actually isn't as bad as it looks. Um, because conscription helps mitigate that cost a good bit, and plus the combat experience bonus would be good, but I'm already pretty much out of that war, so I'm not really concerned about it anymore. Um, if I were to take that out, what would I want to focus on? That's a not good thing at all to do. Two production and two food and domestic trade routes. I mean, yes, that's nice, but um, the negative part of it really, I mean, I'm kind of pretty sure I'm done with settlers. Yeah, I'm all done with settlers for the most part, you know. Maybe like, <laughs> maybe the like one specific place, some random place, but the AI at this point has basically given me free, free settlers. So I kind of not really worried about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually bring you into Cincinnati and heal up. Maybe you skip Terran. Perfect. Let's go ahead and plant that. As you'll see, um, in this tile here. Okay, it's already got woods next to it, so that's fine. But in these other tiles nearby, once they get up to breathtaking appeal, they will really... Uh, you'll see the statistics in the empire will grow further. So that hurt. A lot. Okay. So Lana here is a master spy. So she's got pretty much everything covered that I could possibly ask for. Um, yeah, getting getting some of this stuff would be pretty useful. And then at this moment, really, I think we could do is we'll just keep putting we'll just keep filling in this empire with woods so we can boost our production overall i'd say that's a good thing because by doing that it's also in some areas going to boost our culture output even more so in this position here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and if we do a chop there that's going to help the campus which i mean is okay that's not bad Yep. And then we can put down a preserve. And then we will get the campus finished first, and then we'll go into preserve. Can't work on the harbor at the moment because he's blocking that off. That's fine. Uh, sanctuary wouldn't really do that much. I mean, that, that's not bad. What does it do when it's complete? Instantly gain plus 20 loyalty and see. Oh, okay, so that doesn't really, that's not doing much. I'll, I'll just go trader instead. Okay. Well, everyone, I think this is a fantastic stopping point for this episode. We have, we really progressed our kind of setup here that we want. I'm very much happy with that. What we're looking for, you know, we've developed in ways that we needed. 
you know, we have a lot of the other infrastructure in place. So we are getting a significant bonus to a lot of these things that we need. Also, uh, Granada is not bad. Also, I just realized because of the appeal bonus that you're getting or appeal uh, science-based bonus there. So that's actually not bad. Um, yeah, that could actually be useful. But otherwise, yeah. So we're going to finish this episode up here. I want to thank you all for your time. Again, thank you everyone for your support. This means a lot. It's been a really, really fun kind of journey to get started here with our, our YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from here. You'll have a good one. Speed D-Man out.